Hello, Umut here. Welcome to another video. Uh, today, uh, I have something different in front of me. Uh, we are going to create a project together uh, in the end. Uh, but I want to introduce to you a new uh, product that I received uh, from um, for Memo guys. Uh, so thanks to them a lot for sharing this with me uh, to be able to share this with you. Um, this is a little uh, thermo printer uh, that doesn't use ink but uh, it has a another way of uh, printing images uh, with heat uh, and it comes in this little format which is super cute uh, it's uh, the brand is for memo and there are printer papers that you need to use inside uh, to use this little printer to use in your project so it comes with in in this box, in this small cute box, and with instructions as well. Here, it's very easy to use. I just played with it a, a little bit to be able to show you. It tells you how to charge it, uh, how to use the paper, and uh, what to be careful about. Uh, and these printers are uh, sticker papers, so they you can just uh, peel it off and use it in your project. So I'm going to show you uh, step by step how this is used and uh, how we are going to use it. Let's start with the basics. Uh, this is the on-off button, and when I press it, uh, it's just uh, lights. And if uh, it's a solid light, you can use it. It means it's charged. You need to charge it when you first uh, get the machine. Uh, when it's fully charged, uh, you can use it. And to make the lifetime longer, um, you need to charge it when uh, the battery is decreasing. And when the battery is decreasing, this light starts to flash. Uh, and then it's better to charge it to make your machine's life longer. Um, I'm going to close it for now and it doesn't have any complexity you, you put the charger here you can charge it uh, with a USB cable which comes with the machine and uh, here you open the machine to put your paper it comes with a paper already so it's rolled and for your machine to work the only thing you need to be careful is you it was like this the paper all inside you just need to take it out until the end and close it like that that's all you need to do now it's closed so another thing you need to do is you need to download the app which is for my more app from uh, iOS uh, app, any phone you have it's in the app store for free so I downloaded it and now I'm going to open it and uh, share my screen with you uh, to see how it works and we are going to print as well um, here is the app what's inside um, you can do many things with this for example you can uh, print uh, your sentiments which would be useful for our projects uh, you can for example scan which means let's say uh, you want to take a picture of this you can take a picture and then you can print this another thing you can do is print images so you can insert images of your own and then uh, I can print this um, so let's say uh, it doesn't print color but it prints in beautiful grayscale style so I'm going to open my printer let's say and I'm going to just press the print button it shows me how it's going to print it and I will just press print and select it because you need to open your Bluetooth for the two machines to connect and I now connected them and I'm going to press print and you will see how it prints I'm going to close it just to make sure and here it is in black and white 
I also think this can be used in uh, if you do book journaling, journaling, planning, planners. It would be really cute uh, to be easily uh, able to print images and use in those. So maybe I will use this later in an art journal or a tag. And you can also color this by the way. Other usages of this is uh, it has a, a thing called a templates. Uh, it's a function and it has a lot of templates like this and there are already images that you could use and as I said it can be used to, for to-do lists, create lists and stick somewhere on your notebook, on your uh, agendas, calendars. So it says study notes, to do, today. I love this uh, cute penguin. Um, and there's a cat and there's like uh, several to-do lists frames, schedules, I'll show you one, like weekly schedule, and the frames, super cute uh, cat with a fish, I love the TV, um, an essay, and there's a toolbox, you can use a banner and write what you want, or there is a ruler so and this is six centimeters and then there is label workshop so inside that you click on uh, labor for example name sticker you want to put on your mugs or something there is micro print option so you can write a long copy here and then print it uh, if you want and then there is graphic here which I love because they have a lot of images there's magic garden for example everything with flowers this is Cinderella's <laughs> car the elephant you can print and color these and use in a lot of projects and I love these the moths insects and moths again like there's a lot of options butterflies, lots and lots of trees and then there is for example epidemic prevention, new images like mushrooms for example, how lovely are these, leaves, lots of things like this. Then Another thing that's good is you can print directly from the web. So for example, you can search butterfly illustration and then you can print them. Let's say butterfly drawing. If I print, it will print this page for me. So let's say I want to print this. I will current page, I will print current page, I'm going to open my printer and they show you how it's going to print and let's print Lovely. It's a small space, of course, but quickly, if you prepare um, a bullet journal or, you know, uh, you prepare the page, you need a few butterflies here and there, this is a really good option. And yeah, for today's project, I'm going to print a few butterflies from the, uh, from the graphics here themselves. So I'll go to Magic Garden and also print this butterfly to color. Also you can save it to the album and for example I saved it to the album. I go back, print images, I have it here. Then I can actually arrange the size. 
so for example I want it bigger I can turn it make it bigger like this and then print it see now it's much bigger which is nice and it's peel off paper just to show you so this I like so eventually I printed these three images uh, with the same method uh, from the uh, printers uh, stock images uh, a butterfly and a couple of moths which look really cute to complement uh, my images and design uh, for the art journal I wanted to show you uh, what I am using also uh, this is a lost in paradise collection from graphic 45 um, and I, I really love these flamingos so I'm going to use it as a focal point as well before that of course I'm going to work on my uh, background uh, for that I'm using my Dina Wakely sprays you will see the colors I'm using on the screen while I'm using them uh, ocean turquoise and I wanted to use the white as well but uh, unfortunately I had my first blockage it was completely blocked for some reason uh, but uh, I also want to tell you I uh, resolved it I put the spray um, lying down in hot uh, water like really hot water and I uh, left it like 15-20 minutes uh, after that I sprayed it within the water uh, with the water that's inside and it uh, completely unblocked and it's working now so just to let you know how to handle it I also used a little bit lime and uh, I want the lighter background because uh, I'm going to work on it uh, more uh, I'm using my Arteza paints with this beautiful stencil which I have no idea where it uh, came from, where I bought it. Um, I don't have the original packaging and I bought it in the early days of my art journaling. I'm using my Arteza Heavy Body Acrylic Paints with a sponge to just dab over the stencil and create this beautiful design. I'm going to use many colors. That's why I uh, left the bag a little bit lighter so that I can use many colors over it uh, to create a design that uh, has a lot of depth. You can see the colors on the screen again but uh, take it as I'm using many shades of green uh, from a little bit dark to lighter uh, so uh, I wouldn't be uh, so precise about uh, the brand or which colors. It's just I'm using a few shades of green to create a jungle feeling and uh, to make it uh, more organic and uh, to give more depth with uh, many more values and uh, shades of the same color. When you use many shades of the same color, uh, even though it's not perfect as you can see, it creates an illusion of depth so it looks like leaves on top of each other. So that's a tip to you if you want to use stencils and uh, create some depth use a few shades uh, and don't be obsessed with perfection as you see I have not perfection at all but it looks quite nice uh, and I decided to splash some more colors uh, the ocean and the lime that I used at the background after I have the leaves it also creates another texture and makes a nice pop uh, over these uh, dark green leaves uh, also I'm now splashing a little bit white as well these all create a nice uh, uh, texture at the background after it dries uh, I just fussy cut my flamingos uh, and the stamp uh, from the uh, scrapbook paper that I showed you so I'm going to just uh, stick it down I'm using my matte medium and I will go over the image as well um, since everything is permanent on my page I don't worry about moving it at all that's why acrylic paints or sprays are great they are permanent and they don't give you uh, trouble afterwards I also fussy cut uh, all the images that I printed with my uh, small printer and uh, remember these are uh, stickers actually this paper so it has adhesive at the back 
I'm just organizing them and just removing the adhesive. Uh, it's very strong by the way. It's not easy to uh, take it back. Uh, it, it will be very difficult. Uh, so when you stick it down, if you buy it, uh, just uh, make sure you know where to stick it down. I'll just make a nice cluster here with my uh, stamps uh, that has also flamingos on it. And you can imagine I'm going to color these with uh, shades of pink and green as well to go with the rest of the page. Although I think they look very nice black and white as well. It adds another uh, interest I think. But <clears throat> for this project I'm going to color them anyway. Because I uh, covered them with matte medium. Uh, they are non-porous now, so I can use my Faber-Castell big brush markers, which are very easy to color with. I just uh, put a little bit and smudge it with my finger. Uh, just be careful that uh, green and pink are uh, complementary colors and they will make matte. So when, they are, when you are mixing them, you need to be careful. The surface of this paper is also a little bit slippery because it's a sticker. So it helps uh, to smudge everything and uh, if you don't like it, as I said, we covered it with mud medium. So it will be easy to, uh, to do damage control, let's say. I'm just going with the colors that I see on the page, pinks and greens and adding a few shades here and there. Really taking it easy with the coloring because they are not so big images anyway. Um, and I'm going to do the shading as well with these uh, pit brush markers around the images. I'm using a darker green shade to go around the edges. It's really easy. Everything is slippery because I used acrylic paints, uh, matte medium, everything that allows me to move these uh, inks very easily. Finally, I decided to use a coral color from my gelatos instead of that pink because the flamingos were a coral color actually, so it goes better. And I'm going to do some splashes with this uh, coral color acrylic paint that was in my stash. Um, you can obtain coral color uh, by uh, mixing red with white, orange with white. Uh, orange with yellow a little bit so just play around if you don't have it already it's easy to make I had these uh, stickers in my stash uh, for forever uh, I bought it from a local uh, stationery store thinking I can use them it's been years uh, I couldn't use them so when I saw the colors I was very happy I said that I can make this a flamingo party by using these so I'm just uh, sticking them here and there as much as possible because uh, I want to use these. I'm sure you all have things in your stash that you look and you, look, you see and see every time you look in your stash and wonder when are you going to use them. So this was one of them. I'm just making little bows uh, so they look like they are hung. Uh, and I'm uh, just giving highlights to all my images with my white gel pen. My white gel pen is Uniball Signo, broad tip, so if you're going to look for it, you can search uh, with these uh, terms. This is also a very old uh, sticker set. I am still using uh, my stash. I don't think you will be able to find it because it's old. Uh, but yeah, I'm not uh, so much buying new things because I have a lot in my stash, so I'm happy to use them. I uh, selected two uh, sentiments because of their colors. They were going with my project. Uh, relax and adventure. They don't go very well with each other, but we'll uh, take it. Maybe first they make an adventure and then relax. So I'm finished with the page and I love it. It looks like a flamingo party. Uh, and uh, I love the background with all this stenciling. Uh, I will put the links down below for the Fomemo printer that I showed you and I have a discount code so you will find uh, all the information and the links down below to use it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like or comment if you like my videos and you can find more in the playlists that I show on the screen if you want to watch more. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.